do me a favor, buddy. Don't play games with me. Here, between his hands is an expression meaning whatever scripture was there that he could pick up and read, that's what he confirmed. And the word musaddiq, it's like when you say Abu Bakr as Sadiq, Sadiq, Sadaqa. It means to confirm as reliable and true, to bear witness to something being reliable and true. He and didn't say it's corrupted. Which which translation is this? It is Lalikon. No, I'm, I just oh, want to Samira, Muhammad Ahmed Samira. It doesn't matter the Arabic here. No, you read I need the Arabic. And, and, and you, the, can you read the Arabic if I bring it up? The different. No, no. The the Arabic and the different translations of the Arabic. If I bring the Arabic, can you read it? Uh, I can read it, but I can't translate it. But um. Okay, so let me show you it. Hold on, let's do this. Uh, one second. No, no. I just said I can't translate it. So that's what you can read it, though, right? So you can read it. You're gonna read. Musaddiqan Mina Mina You even got me confused Musaddiqan Lima Baina Yadehi Min El Torah You're going to read it You don't need to understand it But I want you to see That's what it says Hold on Because you're killing me dude I have to go through this I have to break it down for you buddy You should be teaching me Okay So now Let's see where the Arabic is Okay even if you don't read it Arabic, here's the transliteration here. Wa musaddiqan lima. Oh my goodness, hold on, buddy. Wa musaddiqan lima baina yadehi min al Torah. Musaddiqan lima baina yadehi min al Torah. You see it even in transliteration? Hmm. Okay, so literally confirming. What is between his hands of the Torah? So confirming Musaddiqan Sadaqa. Abu Bakr as Sadiq, it comes from the same root. So you just said Jesus confirmed a corrupt Torah. No, no. From this ayah, it seems that Jesus confirmed, you know, a, a, the, the Torah at that time that he was revealed. Oh, for. he did. But now you got oh. problems because we have copies yeah. of the Torah from Jesus' time, the Dead Sea Scrolls, and it's what we have today. Okay. I've, I've heard from people like Sheikh Uthman that said that this school has contradictions and stuff. What um, contradictions? No, no, no. Uthman, the Sheikh Kacha boy doesn't know what he's talking about. There's a difference between contradictions, variations. Just like you have different Arabic qira'at of the Quran, they are variations Likewise, when you copy something by hand, you're going to have variations, but the variations don't change the text or its meaning. That's why I can pick up a copy of Isaiah 53 from the Dead Sea Scrolls, written 125 years before Christ, and it agrees with a copy of Isaiah that comes a thousand years later. And here, let me show it to you. Okay, so, so there is variation that you admit that. Oh, you're a special kind of stupid. So you no, admit no. there are variations in the Quran, the Qira'at? Come on, now you're changing the topic. I, I'm just asking no, you. No, I mentioned that. No, do it, you honestly. You're going to make a lot of people leave Islam, and I thank God for you. Because I just said, just like there are variations in the Quran that do not agree. That's why I say you're a special kind of stupid, man. But it's okay here. Let me now turn it against you. Oh, my goodness. Have mercy on us, Lord. Please have mercy. Okay, so... Hold on, no, 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 no. We're not going to run because I'm going to show wait, you... I'm not, I'm not running. I'm just asking you a question. So what did Uthman do to the variations of the Arabic Qurans? Uh, he, he burned them. Why? If they were uniform and not contradictory, what's what's their need to burn them? So you you see, every time you object, you bury your religion. So think twice before you say something. Hold on. Let me okay, show okay, you. Sam, 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 before you come attacking uh, me, how will you answer the I'm questions? I'm not attacking you. I'm brought, attacking uh, the religion that made you. The religion, how will you answer the questions that I've brought to you? You you admitted that there's contradictions and variations between the Isaiahs and the Dempsey Scrolls. No, I admit that your Quran is full of contradictions and variations. It's from the pit of hell. Because you see, again, you're stupid. You're not listening. If variations means contradiction, what don't you get? That means your Quran is full of contradictions. It's garbage. Thank you, guys. Now, guys, notice what he said. I admit 
because I said variations mean contradictions. He just buried his Quran in the toilet because the Quran has variations meaning contradictions. So now you're going to say, yes, the Quran is garbage because it's been corrupted. Because that's your argument, but because you're Ummi, you don't follow me. Okay, now, do these read the same? Do they read the same, Ummi? Wait, I'm, I'm reading it. Give me a second. Okay, go ahead. And these are just two of the many qira'at, let alone all the verses that are missing, which I'm going to get to because I'm going to play your game. Okay. okay. Imam Hafs was, was a kathab, according to Muslims, and warsh. What happened to this word, huwa? Where'd it go? It went bye-bye? It went bye-bye? So you just admit your Quran has contradictions, so bury it. See, this is what happens when you don't listen. Where's, where's the source for this? Oh, my goodness. Why do I deal with you? Here it is. It comes from your Muslims who print the Arabic editions of the Qira'at. Okay. So, okay. obviously... Oh, no, no, we, let's, let's no, no, no. I'm not uh, done yet. Yeah, so I've, uh, I know I know about the Qira'at and the okay, well, no, 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 and stuff no, 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 like no, no. that. No, no, hold on. Is it Qala or is it Qul? No, no, there are variations. In... But you said variations means contradictions. That's what no, you... No, no, I, I never said yes, that. Yes, you did. I said you that... Said... I yes, said, according to Uthman and what I've heard Abu from Bakr, I'm going to send you out of here. Yes, you did. Oh you said, I said that no. there are contradictions, and you're a liar. I said, no, variations do not make contradictions. So, yes, you did accuse me that if I admit their variations no. are contradictions. No, no. So, let me clarify that. I didn't say that. And oh. if you thought I said that, then no. I you got to record it. You said. So, you, admit, you said, you, Sam, admit. Oh, my God. Can I, can I speak for once? Okay. Tell me why. One is says qala, the other says qul. Okay, let me let me speak. Okay, so there are con there are <laughs> sorry there are variations. Okay, but just know. answer the question. Why is it yeah. qala and qul? Which one does because did Allah of, because, say? because of different dialects? The Quran are different dialects. No, they're not dialects because it's in the Quraysh dialect, according to Sahih Bukhari, volume six, number five ten. The Quran is in the Quraysh, and Uthman said, when you write it, write it in the Quraysh dialect. What are you talking about? You lying to me again? Okay, now why is it here Nakfir and here it's Yukhfar? Okay, so let me answer this again, okay? Can you answer that? Just tell me why, not give me the script. Oh, the I know there are variations, so I'm asking. So which okay, one can, can, can you explain the variations in the Bible then? I don't care. You said my Bible's corrupt, so I want you to now say your Quran is corrupt and stop being a Muslim and become atheist. Okay, so which is it in... Chapter 2, verse 259. Is it Nun Shizhuha? Ah, my English. Or Nun Shiruha? Which is it? Hmm. So, it, from, from the Muslim understanding, it's both of them. Um, so, Allah said both in eternity? The, the Qira'at, you know, they yeah. add to the meaning of the Quran. So, both of them are valid meanings Who and interpretations. That? Where does the Quran say that? Where did the Quran say it? that all of these are valid because that's something your scholar said 300 years after your prophet died. So you want me yeah. to go with what a scholar said? Where did your God Allah say that in the Quran? Oh, there are going to be many variations. They're all valid. It doesn't say that in the Quran, no. Say it again. I want everyone to hear you. It, it doesn't say that. Oh, is it now Qatala or Qutila? Which is it? Is it Sahrani or... Sahrani, and I'm not even showing you the missing verses and missing surahs. Okay. Yeah, so again, this I don't know about, but from, from what I've heard, and to be, to be fair, to be fair, when I've, when I've answered, asked questions about this, I was on a stream with, I think, um, Jay and Kai or Knights or something. Jay and Dai or something like that. You know them? Jai Apologetics? Yeah, I know him. Yeah. And then they were talking about this, and they probably gave me a better answer than most of the, the scholars and stuff but about the variations and the, the khira'at and the ahruf. So I'm not going to defend it because it doesn't make sense to me so, also. So, buddy, why don't you go back and ask your scholar again, come back, because you're not ready, man, because you made so many mistakes in these minutes that I had to correct you. Because you started already by attacking, saying the Old Testament's corrupt, and you started now a war instead of coming and trying to explain your religion. So 
you don't know much about your religion. I give you credit for trying to defend it, but you shouldn't defend it because you don't know and you know what it is. If Islam is true, you need to fear Allah and not speak in ignorance because Allah is going to judge you if Allah is real. So you should be afraid. So come back when you're prepared. You're not prepared. Buddy. You, you repeated the same argument you made when I was with Avery.